in now then and now big enough so someone about five feet away could hear you Soft focus. Soft focus. Breathe in and out. And in and out. And in the next out breath, we're gonna let those eyes fall closed. Breathe. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come fully into our surroundings. So the first thing is, we're gonna imagine a cardboard box in front of us. And we're gonna put into it all of those things that are important for us, but won't serve us for the next half hour, that don't help us achieve our goal, our meditating goal. So I'm gonna put in my work computer and the laundry I have to do and the grocery shopping I have to do, and the writing I have to do, and the studying I have to do, and the yoga I have to do. And I'm going to give you all a second to put in all the important things you have on your to-do list today that won't help you right now. Because you need to do them. We all got to do them. But we're not doing them right now. Now take that box and put it directly to the right next to you. And we have that box there, so during our practice, if something important comes up, we can just drop it right in that box and come right back to the present. Great work. And now we're going to build a fire in front of us. We're gonna build our why, because when the going gets tough in this meditation and when you're wondering when this is over and when you're wondering how long I have to do this, you can remember you're doing this for not just one reason, but you've got multiple reasons to be meditating. You got multiple reasons to on a Sunday morning to have decided to step up to the plate and challenge yourself in a way that's different than normal. So I'm gonna list my reasons and I'm gonna visualize putting logs on a fire in front of me. My reasons are I wanna be a better brother to my sister, that's one log. A better son to my parents, that's another log. A better grandson to my grandfather, that's another log. I wanna develop sustained patience, that's another log. I wanna develop focus that will carry me through work and my life, that's another log. I want to develop the ability to work through difficult things. That's another log. I want to choose where I struggle, and I'm grateful for that opportunity to be able to choose those things. That's another log. Take a moment and just think of one or two reasons why you want to meditate today and place those logs in, in the fire in front of you. And now I'm going to count to three. And when I snap on three, you're going to imagine that fire lighting in front of you. And you're going to feel the heat on your toes. Feel it on the hands in front of you. You're going to feel it on the whole front side of your body. One, two. Imagine that burning inferno. That's your why. That's your motivation. I feel the warmth in the toes of my feet. 
I feel the warmth in the hands in my lap. I feel the warmth on the nose, on my face, and on my forehead. And any time I start getting maybe dispirited by how long this is taking or distracted, I remember I've got this burning inferno of why in front of me that's going to carry me through anything I do. Now we're going to come into the senses. We're going to feel our feet on the floor. We're going to feel our butt in the seat. We're going to feel gravity pulling us downward. We're going to take a big breath in through our nose and smell our surroundings. (sighs) We're going to hear what's going on around us and we're going to accept those sounds without making judgments without trying to decide where they came from or where they are going. And maybe in that way, we'll learn to let sounds be. And then we'll be able to take that understanding and let ourselves be who we are. Let the world around us be what it is and let those in it be who they are as well. We're gonna start at the top of the head and we're gonna just slowly build a picture of who we are. And as we build this picture, we're going to come to have a fluid understanding that we are changing, we are moving, we are different every single moment, but we are here right now. So we're gonna send our soft awareness into our scalp and just feel what's going on there. Now the forehead. Let those eyeballs in their sockets relax. Let those cheeks relax. Soft focus in the nose. Soft, soften the lips. Feel your chin and send the awareness up your jawline towards your ears. Feel all the way around your ears. And now the back of the head, the back of the neck, the throat, and the front of the neck. Send your awareness into your left shoulder socket and let it relax. Feel those muscle connections moving down towards your elbow. Let your elbow on the left arm relax. Move through your left forearm. Let the left wrist relax. The back of the left hand and the left palm. Relax those left fingers. Let the right fingers relax. Send a soft focus into your right palm and the back of your right hand. Let your right wrist relax. Moving up the right arm. Soft focus in the right elbow. Moving up the right arm. Feel those connective tissues. Send your awareness into your right shoulder socket. All the way around. And now we're going to let our shoulder blades just fall down our back away from our ears. We're going to let all the tension drain away. We don't have hunched shoulders. They're just at ease. And we're going to feel down the top of our back, feeling the connectivity against the chair, those points of contact. Now the middle back. And the lower back. Feel 
Feel that collarbone. Send your awareness into that expanding chest, stretching horizontally. Can you feel the fibers pulling away from each other? Come into the solar plexus, the upper abs, and the lower. Let those hip flexors relax. Mine are always so tight. Let's send a big breath to those hip flexors. Ready? In. Down. Send your awareness into your groin. And now into your butt on the seat. Feel those points of contact. And as you continue to practice, more and more points of contact will become available to you. Feel the bottom of your left leg on the chair. The top of the left thigh. The top of the left knee. And the bottom. Let that left calf relax. Soft focus in the left shin, running down. Let the top of the left foot relax. Feel the heel, the arch, and the ball. Feel those left toes. Soft focus in the right toes. Moving up the right ball and arch and heel. Feel the sensation on the top of your right foot. Moving up the right shin. Relax the right calf. Feel the back of the right knee and the top of the right knee. Feel the top of the right thigh and come into those points of contact on the left hamstring. Beautiful. Now for my favorite part of the exercise. We're going to enter into one of the most possibly valuable conversations we can have all day. We're going to ask ourselves, what are you saying? And when we ask that of ourselves, the answer we're going to listen for is in the breath. The breath is saying, so many things to us if we just open our minds to it. We're here coming in and out and in and out. And with a soft focus on the breath, we can sink into the universe within. And if it helps, Activate that soft curiosity within you. You can ask yourself, where is the top of my breath? And then where's the bottom? And with that question, you'll slowly get a picture of the whole. And if you get distracted by something important, put it in the box. Let it drop in there and come to the breath. And if you just get distracted by something random, think of it like unclenching a muscle and you're just letting it go. And you're coming right back to the breath. I'll let you hear how I do to show you that we're all struggling with this in our own way.
I was just distracted by thoughts of past times. And I'm gonna let them go and come back to the breath. I was just distracted by thoughts of future plans and I'm letting them go and coming back to my breath. I let that dog go and I come back to the breath. I was just distracted. I'm gonna let those thoughts go and come back to the breath. And now let your mind be free. Let go of 
any thoughts you may have and feel the weightless, boundless space that is your mind without distraction. That feeling is the freedom no one can take from you. Accessing it is the rebellion no one wants you to do. It is an action that will carry you so far forward. And it feels so good. Oh. We're gonna come back into our senses. We're gonna feel our feet on the ground and our butts on the seats and our hands in our lap. We're gonna smell the air around us. And we're gonna hear the sounds around us. And we're gonna let them be. And slowly, without moving, we're gonna open our eyes. And we're just gonna take a second to see, how are we feeling right now? Ask yourself that, how do I feel physically? I feel so calm, so centered. I feel all of my senses more than when I started. And thank yourself, thank you for doing this practice. Thank you for joining me. Um, you know, we're back again at it, 8 a.m. tomorrow, 8 a.m. weekdays, that's how we do it. Ben, don't you go anywhere, but to everyone else, thank you very much for joining, and have a nice day.